three ways how you can get funding even if you have bad credit. Number one is gonna be finding revenue-based financing. So revenue-based is just like it sounds. It's based off of the revenue that the business makes per month. So if you have tax returns, bank statements that you can show that these people can verify your income, then sometimes there are places that's gonna give you a business credit card or even business lines of credit in some cases. And one place that you can go to that a lot of people know about is called Divi, D-I-V-V-Y, Divi. Divi is a revenue-based business credit card. So they'll log into your bank account using a system called Plaid. Plaid is completely secure. I use it all the time, it's safe. With Plaid, they're gonna use your online banking login. So you'll put in whatever your username is and your password, and the computer is just gonna be able to look over your profile. Nobody's gonna steal your information, nobody's gonna use it. They just want to see what's going on with your profile and make sure that you're not lying on the application. And if you have 10, 15, $20,000 coming in every single month consistently, and you can prove that, then you can get funding even if you have bad credit. So when I say bad credit, I'm talking about like 600, 500 sometimes, you can still get approved. And a lot of times they won't even pull your personal credit because you're using the revenue in order to get you approved. Now I will tell you though, revenue-based financing a lot of times doesn't have the best payback terms. You can also get merchant cash advance, which also looks at your profile, but with Merchant Cash Advance, sometimes they're going to want to take the payments daily or weekly or monthly. Sometimes it's automatically withdraw out of your account. And also a lot of times the interest rates are going to be higher. So the amount of money that you get is going to be a lot higher. Gas stations are known for getting these Merchant Cash Advance. A lot of businesses get them, but they're not going to be the best option for you to get if you have bad credit and you need funding. And number two is having a credit partner. So a credit partner is just someone who has good credit, even though you don't, who believes in what you're doing. They might even be on the business with you. It could even be an employee that you want to allow to come in as like a partner on the deal or on the business or whatever you're trying to do. And you need to use their credit in order to get funding. So that person, you can put that person on your business as a member or a uh, person who has the majority ownership of the business on your operating agreement, you're gonna have a section that shows who owns what percentage of ownership. So a lot of times when you're gonna get funding, banks and lenders are gonna to wanna to pull anyone's credit who's over 20 to 25% owner. So a lot of times what I do in our operating agreements for our clients or for our customers is that we'll put the person with the highest credit as 90% owner and everyone else, if it's only one person, they'll have 10%. If it's two people, they'll be 5% each because we wanna have them on the LLC, on the paperwork, but just not as the majority owner, even though they're the ones that actually run the business and the credit partner is the one that's gonna be the one getting financing. So what we also do in operating agreement is put that no one can kick out the other person unless they have 99% ownership. No one has 99% ownership. The credit partner has 90, the other person has 10, or the other two people have 5% each, so no one can kick the other one out, but they can mutually agree that the credit partner can leave the business after they get funding, even though the credit partner is gonna be liable for that debt. The credit partner is gonna be the one that personally guarantees it. They're gonna put their credit on the line. So if you, as the person who uses the funding, do not pay it, your credit partner is gonna be the person in trouble for it. So make sure that you're being responsible with the funding that you get if you use a credit partner because their credit's on the line for it. And last but not least, number three is gonna be build business credit. So business credit, you know, I talk about that all the time. It's one of my favorites because you don't have to use your personal credit. So you can have great personal credit and still not use it. Like the rich people say, control everything but own nothing is because their businesses can own everything because it has its own credit. So we wanna to get to a level where we're not owning anything, we're controlling everything and letting the business own everything. The way that you do that is through business credit. Also, when you're building business credit, everything that you're buying to build that profile up is tax deductible. So if you go and you're building your profile out and you get something from a place called Uline, which a lot of people know about Uline, that's tax deductible. You can write that off in your taxes. You're building business credit, you're building a profile out, you're making it strong, you're separating yourself from the business, and you're getting the tax deductions while you do it. 
And there's a lot of places that can give you funding, depending on what you're looking for, depending on what type of industry you're in and what type of funding you need. There's a lot of places that's going to give you funding with just your business's EIN or just your business credit profile. So for instance, if you're in real estate, I personally have like Home Depot accounts. I have hardware stores where let's say you have $30,000 in these hardware accounts and you have a house that you want to flip or you have someone else who has a property that they want to flip but don't have the cash. It can even be, I just want to give you some ideas right now. It could even be someone who received the house. Someone passed away and they inherited the house, but they don't have the money to fix it up. They want to rent it out, but they can't because they don't have the capital. So you can come in as the person with business credit, not using your own personal credit, not using no cash, but you have the business credit in order to help fix that property up. So if you have $10,000 with like floor and decor and $10,000 with Home Depot, $20,000, that might be enough to get the property started or get the property finished, depending on how the property looks on the inside. So you just open yourself up to more opportunities, but also it's different types of funding that you can get with the business credit profile that you don't have to use your personal credit to get. So there's three ways that you can try to get business funding, even if you have horrible personal credit.